Hi, I'm Mike Bartlett. I'm the product manager for Skype on Windows. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the cool changes we've made in the 4.0 beta. I'm going to be demonstrating how we've made video really big and rich and fun. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about what we've done to simplify how you manage your conversations. Let's take a look at video. Here you can see the new look and feel 4.0 UI. If I go ahead and click on my contact, Jacqueline Marshall, in the left-hand side, her profile will appear on the right-hand panel. And here you can see I've now got a video call button on every one of my contacts. And that's because I've got my webcam plugged in right now. So we've tried to make it really easy for you to get up and running and to make those video calls with just a click of a button. Let's have a look. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Mike. So I'm just uh, running through the Skype 4.0 demo, and um, we need to get out to Estonia next week with uh, a couple of other guys. Do you mind if I just drop them into this conversation in a moment, and um, you can help sort it out? No, that's fine. Cool. So what you can see here in the new look and feel 4.0 video is that we've made the picture a lot bigger. We've made it a lot richer with the black background. I can resize my video image, move it around a little bit. So there's a whole lot of functionality that we've built into video to make it more fun and more customizable for you. What you can also do now is you can have an instant messaging conversation alongside a video conversation really easy. You can see the Show Messages button at the top. If I click on that, the video gets repositioned up to the top, and now my instant message session is opened up in the bottom window where I can type some stuff to Jackie. Great, Jackie, I'll speak to you later. Thanks, Mike. Bye. Cool. So let's have a look at adding some members from my contact list into this conversation. Here in the top right, I've got the Add People button. If I click on that, I'm going to go and pick my colleagues, Nathan and Robin, click Add, and pop them into the conversation. I can set a little chat topic. And there we go. Now everyone can chat together. We can jump on a group call if we want to, and we can help organize the trip really easily. Let's have a look at some of the conversation management capabilities now. Here you can see at the top left-hand corner, there's the orange conversation button, which is highlighting me to some stuff that I've missed quite recently. If I click on that button, here you can see the conversation I've been having with Jackie. There's some other new stuff going on. For example, my friend over here, Amy, has added me to a contact list. So right there, she displays in the right-hand side. Click Add to Contacts. And now Amy and I are friends, and we can call each other. What I've also got here is a missed call from my friend John, who I play football with. And you can see right in line in the chat again, here's the voicemail that John has left me. So if I click on the play button. Hey, Mike, it's John. Sorry, I really can't make football this week. Um, you're going to have to find someone else. Sorry. No. Oh. Well, that's OK, because fortunately, I've got a five-a-side football chat, and we can deal with that in a moment. Let's see what else I've missed. Some missed calls around the trip to Tallinn. I'll ignore those for now. My colleague Nathan sent me a file. So if I click on him, there we go. Well. I'm not going to deal with this right now. And so one of the great new features as well is I can just right-click on Nathan and mark the conversation as unread. And then I can get back to it when I've got some spare time. So finally, let's pop into the five-a-side football chat. So I've missed a whole bunch of stuff that's going on. I'll catch up with that later. What I want to do now is take one of my other friends who I know can play a bit of football and add him into this chat. So if I click on the contacts button over here, I see my contact Dave. He's offline right now, but that's fine. He'll find this when he gets back online. Drag and drop him into the conversation and just tell everyone quickly, hi guys, I've added Dave to replace John later on. There we go. So that's just a little quick rundown of some of the great new features and improvements we've made to Skype 4.0. If you head across to Skype.com, you can go and download a copy and play around with it yourself. I hope you enjoy it.